My name is Misha Hudayev, and for my breakthrough challenge, I'm going to be explaining to you about distributive property and how it can help you with your number sense. I was reading an article by Joe Baylor, Fluency Without Fear, and it was explaining how math fluency determines the difference between low and high achieving math students. A few weeks ago, this happened to me. Here's a challenge from Wallet in London. His son had the following question on his math homework at St. Paul's School. And the challenge was, in your head, what is the product of the prime numbers between 2 and 19 inclusive? In order to solve this problem, we're going to need to use the distributive property. And in every algebra class, one of the first things you learn is the distributive property. Only if I had an algebra book to show you. Whoa, perfect. So, if you look here in this algebra book and go to the table of contents to chapter one, you can see the distributive property is one of the first things you learn in algebra. The official definition of distributive property is rather complicated, so I'm gonna simplify it for you. I have eight candies. If I multiply eight by two, we get 16. Another way of multiplying eight by two is by using the distributive property. If we break up eight into four groups of two and just multiply each by two, you still get 16. Now, let's get back to the original problem and I'll explain to you how the distributive property can improve your number sense. First, we will evaluate 17 times 19. 19 is just 20 minus 1. So, 17 times 19 is just 17 times 20 minus 17 times 1. 17 times 20, 340, minus 17 times 1, 17, which will give us 323. Let's put 323 to the side. Let me take a more comfortable seat because now, I'm multiplying 13 times 11 times 7. First, 11 times 13. 11 is just 10 plus 1, and we can all multiply by 10. 10 times 13, 130, plus 13 times 1, 13, equals 143. We can even use distributive property in three parts. With 143 times 7, you just break up 143 into 100 plus 40 plus 3, and just multiply all of those times seven. Now, let's do seven times 100, 700. Then, seven times 40, 280. Lastly, seven times three, 21. First, let's add 280 plus 21, 301. And 700 plus 300 is 1,000, plus one, 1,001. Now, let's bring back the 323 and the 1001 and just multiply them. 323 times 1001 is relatively simple. 323 times 1000, 323,000, plus 323, 323, 323. Now we're down to our last three prime numbers, 2, 3, and 5. Multiplying 323, 323 times 3 is easy. 969, 969. Now we're just down to 2 and 5. 2 times 5, that's 10. Don't need much number sense to multiply them 10, right? So 969, 969 times 10 would be 9,699,690. We did it! I just want to like do like a backflip right now. This is awesome! We can take a really hard problem and put it into more bite-sized chunks using the distributive property. I hope you learned how to use the distributive property to help improve your number sense and solve problems like these in your head. My name is Misha Udayev and that was my breakthrough challenge.